Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to install Flashprint on your computer. So Flashprint is a slicing software for the FlashForge Dreamer and it's brilliant for beginners as it has very simple settings that you can modify and get printing straight away. It's great for ABS and PLA. However, when it comes to special filament like wood filament or flexible materials, you may find that you may run into some issues because of those limited features and settings. For everything else, it should work absolutely fine. Now, one thing to note is that the support material isn't as good as software like the Simplify 3D, but you shouldn't really worry yourself about that. So let's get started. So I'll put the link in the description. You basically want to go to this website just here, and then you just want to select the computer that you have. So whether it's a Mac or a Windows, and just look for the latest date. So at the moment, it's this date for me as at the time of this recording. However, this may change. So just pick the top one, basically. And then you just want to click here to download, and it will download the software for you. So here, I've got it all up and running. So then just double click on that, and then it will just drag that over. In a few seconds, it will just copy that into the Applications folder. So now we've got it into the Applications folder. So let's go to Launchpad, double click on Flash Print. Then you want to select Open. Now it says a new version of Flash Print is available. Would you like to download it? Now this is a beta version, however, it runs absolutely fine. I mean, I've been using it for a little while and I've had no sort of issues with it, no bugs, nothing like that. So I'll press cancel for now because I already have the APK file right here. So this is what you'll get. You'll get a PKG file, sorry. And then you want to right click, press open, and then it will just open it. Press next, continue, agree. And then you just need to type in the password for your computer. And there you go, it's successfully installed. You want to just quit that and then restart it again. And what this will do is it will just make sure that the flash print is opened up to the latest software. So now we've got the latest software. So the next thing you probably want to be doing is loading a file. The Flashprint software takes STL files just like any other software for slicing does. So let's head over to Thingiverse. And, you know, I picked this model as it's very quick to print and it's just a very simple structure. So we'll just click on download this thing and then download the ghost STL file. That will download into your folder and then go back to Flashprint and you want to press load to wherever the file is located. So for me, it's in here. We just want to press open. Now, the great thing about this software is that it lets you know when it's not on the platform and it will do that for you. Here, it will put it on the platform for you. So if you just press yes, and there you go, everything's now done. So you've got some little adjustments that you can make on the side. So for example, if you wanted to print two of these, we'll load it up again. So we'll just go Pac-Man, press open, and then press yes again. With this software, it doesn't automatically rearrange all the models. So what you need to do is you need to select a model, then double click on move, and then with the little arrows, you can adjust where the model is, or you can just type in a number. So here, it just moves it one mil, and it's as simple as that. And then you can also rotate so you know we can we can spin it round now you always want to make sure that the flat end of the model is on the flat part of the print bed now the reason for this is that it just gives the best quality prints so for example if let's say it was upside down like this, imported the model sorry in flash print like that you want to just go to rotate and then just rotate it so that so that the model is now back on the print bed you can also scale it so you can literally just make it let's say 150 and it will just make it that little bit bigger and again as you can see it uniformly does that so the x y and z will be scaled up by 150 percent so let's just bring that back down to 100 percent and then you can also select the extruder. If you watched my video on the unboxing and setting up of the FlashForge Dreamer, I set the left extruder as PLA and the right extruder as ABS. So let's just make these two models out of PLA. 
So we use the left extruder. So now we're almost ready to print. So let's head over to this little icon here. Click on that. Now, as you can see, the material selections for the right and left are incorrect. The left material we actually have as PLA. So we just select the drop down menu, and then PLA. Now, because we want to print quickly, we want to go on the lowest resolution as it's the fastest and always make sure that you've got a skirt. Now, I really like the skirt with the Flashforge Dreamer as what can tend to happen is that the extruder won't start extruding straight away as soon as you press print. So that skirt will place a layer of material around the objects and models that you have in the print bed and that will just initiate that extruding so that when it when the extruder hits the model then it starts printing straight away so now with the layers on the lowest resolution i like to drop this down to 0.3 millimeters and then just keep the shell exactly the same infill 15 percent is absolutely fine um, if you're looking for a bit of strength up the fill density or you can use a different fill pattern so the hexagon fill pattern is actually stronger than the line pattern and this is great if you're looking for a bit of rigidity in your model and then speed pla is absolutely fine with 100 millimeters again with the support everything is fine the standard setting now with the temperature i like to just drop this down to 195 depending on the pla filament that you have uh, you may need to adjust these values if you attach the blue painters tape onto the print bed what i'd recommend is getting some glue and then setting the platform to 50 degrees i find that this just gives a better adhesion than having no uh, heat on the print bed now with the cooling fans because it's pla it's better if you have the cooling fans on so i prefer to say yes to all of that and then just keep the overhang threshold now pla favors active cooling and you'll find that your prints come out much much better if you've got that fern turned on so make sure after you've done all of that you save the configuration this is so that when you exit and then press print again you're not having to do that again and again every time you just set it depending on we'll just save it as the lowest resolution we'll press ok so now what it's going to do is it's going to generate a g code file now this is what's read by the flashforge dreamer but you want to enter your sd card and as you can see mine's on the flashforge just here so we're just going to select that we're going to call this one ghost we're going to press save as you can see it's slicing the model and this can sometimes take a bit of time depending on how large the model is and how many models you have on the print bed so there you go it's all done and it estimates that it will take about 39 minutes to print those two objects now let's say we didn't want to have two objects we can just go back we just select one of them so let's select the left one then go to edit and then delete and there you go it's deleted that model and let's say now we want to select the right extruder so we select that model and then we select right and then we go to print and then as you can see it's now changed the settings this is because we selected the right extruder so we haven't saved the configuration for abs yet so again do the same similar settings for the layer height so again drop that down to 0.0 uh, 0.3 millimeters now for infill again we'll just keep it at 15 percent now as you can see with speed it's dropped it down ever so slightly to 90 millimeters per second and again the support material even though we don't have any support material that has been dropped to 90 millimeters per second now with the temperature it's a lot higher it's at 235 degrees now that's absolutely fine now i like to increase the platform to 110 and then the others we want the cooling fan off now the reason for this is that with ABS it contracts very very rapidly when it's cooled so you want to make sure that you keep that heat in the enclosure so that you don't get any cracking between the layers so now we're happy with the, with these settings so we're just going to press save configuration we're going to press OK now we're going to name it ghost and we'll name it ABS so we'll save that and there you go that's all done 
Now it says estimated print time 23 minutes. Now you have to take that with a pinch of salt. I've printed this model out with the exact same settings and it took about 33 minutes. You just want to maybe add between 20 to 30 percent extra on top of the time that it says and everything else is all done. Before you plug in your SD card into your 3D printer, what you want to do is, is you want to update the firmware. Now I have a separate video down in the description to show you that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.